systems of equations applications day one. Number one, the sum of the perimeters of two different squares is 32 centimeters, and the difference between their perimeters is 8 centimeters. If x is the side of the larger square, and y is the side of the smaller square, which of the following systems could be used to find the dimensions of the squares? Now the thing that's important to notice here is that x is the side. Alright, so if x is the side of the larger square, then the perimeter is 4x. It's all the way around there, 4x. So the, the sum of their perimeters is 32. There's only one answer choice that even has that part, and it's this. Okay, and then similarly, 4x minus because of the difference, minus 4y equals 8. There's that second part there. But again, the part to really pay attention to is the wording there, because that gave you the side and then talked about the perimeters. Keep that in mind. Number two, a college student needs 11 classes that are worth a total of 40 credits in order to complete her degree. The college offers both four credit classes and three credit classes. Which system of equations can be used to determine F, the number of four credit classes a student can take, and H, the number of three credit classes? Well, they just told us that F classes are worth four hours, three credit classes, H. Okay, and then let's see, that's supposed to total 40 credits. Let's see, 4F plus 3H equals 11. 4H plus 3, 4F plus 3H equals 40, possibly. 4H, nope. 4H, nope. There it is. Now, okay, the giveaway here is mostly the fact that 4 and F go together, 3 and H go together. So that would leave us, that would, F would still be wrong, 4H. G would still be wrong, 4H. And it'd be between these two. All right. So if you can get it down to that, then you're in good shape, actually, in the, in the big scheme of things. All right, number three. The owner of a clothing store buys t-shirts for C dollars each and sells them for P dollars each. Last month, she bought 600 t-shirts and sold 500 of them and made a profit of 2,800. This month, she bought 400 t-shirts and sold them all to make a profit of $2,400. Which system can be used to determine the values of C and P? Okay. All right, so we have buys them for C, sells them for P. So starting right here, buys 600 of them and sold 500 of them. All right, so bought means we should have C with that, 600 C and 500 P. That's how much we're selling them for. So let's just start there. Oh, and then that comes out to be 2,800. Obviously, we're going to have some subtraction in here, which will be important in a second. But 600C, 500P, 2,800, possibly. Put a mark there. 600P minus 500C, nope, that P is incorrect. 500P, 600C, 2,800, possibly. 600P, 500, nope. So it's either A or C. All right, now the next thing we can notice is bought 400 shirts and sold them all. So we have 400P equals 2400, which leaves us with answer choice A because C doesn't have anything right there. They bought 400 and they sold 400. And I think that's going to be it. Yep. Number four. Brianna's family bought $134, or spent $134 on two adult tickets and three youth tickets at an amusement park. Max's family spent $146 on three adult tickets and two youth tickets. What's the price of a youth ticket? And really, we want to know adult and youth. All right, so let's say we have A and we have Y for youth. Two adult and three youth is $134. Okay, and then the second set, we've got Max's family spent $146 on three adult tickets and two youth tickets. 
Okay, well, there's our system right there. All right, now you should be able to, at this point, be able to solve this, right, We'd, by, with elimination, maybe. This looks really good for elimination. We'd multiply by 3 up here and negative 2 down here, and we get a nice little zero pair. I want to show you something else, though. We're going to use our calculator. Let's bring that over here. All right, so clearing that, our scratch pad, we can go to Menu, Algebra, Solve System of Linear Equations. That's exactly what we're doing. We have two variables, two equations, and our variables are, let's see, A comma Y, adults and youth. All right, so let's see. So we're going to type literally our equations in there. We have what 3a plus 2y equals 3a, 2a plus 3y equals 134. 3 equals 134. And this one is going to be 146. And it's 3a plus 2y. 3a plus 2y equals 146, yes. And at that point, we can hit enter, and it will tell us 34 comma 22. Now, the order we type them in matters, because this means that adult is 34 and youth is 22. So 34 and 22. And these are costs here. All right, now be prepared Okay, because, you know, you might be thinking, great, I don't even have to learn this, right? Um, but in reality, if we ask you on a test, because there will be problems that say solve with substitution, solve with elimination, if you don't know how to do that by hand without using the calculator, then you're kind of up a creek. But if you can do this on the calculator, you can check your work, okay? But be prepared for it to be just counted wrong if all you write is the answer, okay? That's just not smart. It's not cool. All right, number five. Kurt has 23 coins, some quarters, and some dimes. Their value is 350. How much of each coin does he have? All right, so let's say Q and D. How much are dimes worth? 10 cents, right? So 0 0.10. Quarters are 25 cents a piece for a total of 350. And then here we know that we have 23 coins, a total of them. So Q plus D equals 23. All right, so let's go over to our calculator and work this one out. All right, so we've got 0.25 Q. So menu, algebra, solve a system of linear equations. Two equations, I'm going to type in Q comma D. That's what we're going to use. So 0 0.25 Q plus 0 0.10 D equals three dollars and fifty cents. And we also know Q plus D equals twenty-three. Just make sure of that. Okay, all that's good. And eight fifteen. So that means eight quarters and fifteen dimes. Eight quarters, fifteen dimes. Again, this is really just a really good way to check this and to do some of these problems fast. Um, but if you're asked to work them out, you have to work them out. In fact, maybe I'll do one of these next ones. Last month, Stephanie bought fi or spent $57 on four allergy shots and one office visit. This month, she spent $9 after one office visit and a refund for two allergy shots from her insurance company. How much does an office visit cost and how much does an allergy shot cost? Alright, so we know we have these two things. One is $57, one is $9. We have, I'm going to use Let's see, X for allergy shots, Y for office visits. So we have four allergy shots and one office visit. And this month she spent $9 after one office visit and a refund. A refund means you get money back, so minus two. Wait, 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 wait. Something's up. Something's up here. Put the X's and Y's in there. Because, let's see, we've got one office visit. Office visits are Y's, so we have one of those. And we have a refund of two allergy shots, so negative 2x. 
Now this would work out really great if you multiply the, top, the bottom one by 2, you'd have a 0 pair to do elimination. But just like before, I'm going to check this real quick. So we have menu, algebra, solve a system. Two equations, x and y. And I've got 4x plus plus 1y equals $57. And we have negative 2x plus 1y equals $9. 2x plus 1y equals 9, yes. Enter, 825. So 8x, so 8 allergy shots, and 25, that's not allergy shots, that's the cost. $8 per allergy shot, $25 per office visit. Number seven, Kate bought three used CDs and two used DVDs. Do X and Y again. Three used CDs and two used DVDs. And then her friend bought one used CD and five used DVDs. Kate spent $23.95 and Joel spent $33.94. Determine the cost of a used CD and a used DVD. Okay, well, let's go back to our calculator. Menu, algebra, solve a system. Two equations, x and y. 3x plus 2y equals 23.95. And then we've got 1x plus 5y equals... 33.94. Solve, that's 3.99 and 5.99. So x was 3.99. Okay, so 3.99 and 5.99. That is a cost of each one of those. CDs are 3.99 a piece and DVDs are 5.99 a piece. Okay, number eight. Used bookstore started selling CDs and videos. In the first week, the store sold 40 unused, 40 unused, 40 used CDs and videos at $4 a CD. Let's say CDs are X and the videos is Y. So 4X and $6 a video. The sales for both of them together totaled $180. Write a system of equations, and then to represent this in how many of each. Okay. Now, the next thing we know is we know that they sold a total of 40. So, x plus y equals 40. Okay. So, we have back on our calculator, menu, algebra, solve a system. Two equations. We're using x and y again. 4x plus 6y equals 180, and x plus y equals 40. Okay, so it seems they sold 30 of the CDs and 10 videos. So, 30 since that was x, 30 CDs and 10 videos. Number nine, two planes are in flight near a local airport. One plane is at an altitude of 1,000 meters and is ascending at a rate of 400 meters per minute. The second plane is at an altitude of 5,900 5, meters and is descending at a rate of 300 meters per minute. When will they be the same altitude and what will that altitude be? Okay, so what's going on here is we've actually got two equations that are not going to look exactly the same. The altitude is, for the first plane, 1,000 plus 400 meters per second. That's where our x is going to come in. It's time, or meters per minute. So x is our minute, and y is our altitude. All right. 
Now the second plane, y equals, they're starting at 5,900, and they are descending 300 meters per minute. We want to know when these two are going to be the same, when they're going to be at the same place at the same time. So let's go to our calculator, and this is the best way to do this. All right, menu, algebra, solve a system. Two equations with x and y as our variables. Now here's the great thing. This doesn't have to be in standard form. You can say y equals 100 plus, or 1,000 plus uh, whatever it was, 400x, and y equals 5,900 minus 300x. They don't have to be in the standard form we usually look at. They can be in y equals form or whatever form. All right, so we get 7 and 3,800. 7 and 3,800, which means 3 minutes, that's what x is, 3 minutes, both will be In three minutes, both will be at 3,800 feet. That's that. Number 10. Anya makes, makes 14 baskets during her game. Some of these baskets are two-pointers, and others were three-pointers. In total, she scored 30 points. Write and solve this system of equations to find how many two-point baskets she made. Two-pointers, three-pointers. Why don't we use x for the two-pointers, and three-pointers, we'll call that y. So 2x plus 3y totals that 30 points. And we have a total, x plus y equals 14. Solve this in the calculator. Menu. There we go. Menu. Algebra. Solve a system. 2x plus 3y equals 30 points, I believe it was. And x plus y equals 14 looks like she made 12 two-pointers and two three-pointers. 12 two-pointers and two three-pointers. Now really we were only asked for the two-point baskets, but we can go ahead and answer both. Number 11, we have a total of 21 coffee mugs that are sold, or that are purchased, total. And we know that mugs are 850, keychains are 275. And we know the total. So first, the total of 21, what's that? It's going to be x plus y equals 21. Let's go ahead and say that these are the mugs. Let me, let me just do this. Let's rename these. Mugs and keychains. Mugs and keychains. M and K. So we know these are 850 a piece plus 275 a piece for the keychains equals 13250. All right, let's set this one up in the calculator. Go menu algebra. Solve a system. Oh, oh, oh. Let me do this. I accidentally did that, so I'm going to change these to M and K. M plus K equals 21. 850M plus 275K equals 132.50. Yes. 275, 850, yes. All right, and shows we have 13 mugs and 8 keychains. So we have 13 mugs and 8 keychains. 
that. And it's not going to work. All right, there we go. 13 mugs and 8 keychains is what we came up with. Okay. Number 12. One wall inside a shoe store is used to display walking shoes and running shoes. There are 135 pairs in the display. There are 1.5 times as many pairs of walking shoes as there are running shoes on display. How many pairs of walking shoes and running shoes are on display? All right, there are two big things we need to take stock of. One is that there are 135 pairs total. So if I add 90 and 45, I get 135. If I add 54 and 81, I get 135. And that actually happens with all of those. So that's the first thing I would check. I'm going to use my answer choices, really. All right, now the next thing is that there are 1.5 times as many pairs of walking shoes, which means there are more walking shoes. So look at this, more walking shoes than running, yes. Less walking shoes than running shoes, not G. There's less walking shoes than running shoes, and there's more for this one. It's one of these two. So is this one and a half times that? So if I multiply by 1.5, am I going to get that other number? Well, let's see. Grab my calculator. 45 times 1.5 is 67.5. 54 times 1.5 is 81. So therefore, J is our answer. Okay, last question. Which graph can be used to find the solution to this system? Now, obviously, all we really care about is the graph. So I'm going to use our calculator, but not the Linsolve method. All right, we're going to type these two into our graph. All right, now these are not in y equals form, so I'm going to delete the equal sign. Say I want to graph a relation, and I'm going to type 2x plus y equals negative 4. Okay, enter and tab, negative 3y equals 2x plus 12. So there are my two lines. Now, which of these graphs looks like what we have there? They both have negative slopes. They intersect at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. Looks like, it looks like F is the one that matches. Okay. All right, that brings us to the end of this day. Be careful as you're setting these up and read very, very carefully.